Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. But then, then again, you know that, don't you? Because that's why you've tuned in. So, right, today is Weapon of the Week. Weapon of the Week! <laughs> it's that time of week where me, Porky, I decide who's been a weapon. Or I was going to change it to Parcel of the Week, but no. Shit parcel of the week, but you can't put that can you on YouTube? So we're gonna we're just gonna call it weapon of the week. So we're gonna continue with that, but there can only be one person this week, can't we? After racking my brains and looking at various YouTube channels and looking online at, and at who's base been basically behaving like a like a parcel, a weapon, an helmet, whatever you want to call it, an idiot, a cock. There can only be one person, can't there, this week? And we know that is, don't we? Here's Johnny! He's always there, isn't he? Johnny Nelson, you're my weapon of the week. Do you know why, Johnny? It's a build-up of things, really, but this week you just topped it, didn't you? <laughs> You topped it, uh, saying that James Tennyson beats Tank Davis. And the best thing about it is, Anna Woolhouse came out with something and said, oh, your Twitter will blow up now with that, Johnny. They're all in on it together. It's all scripted. Look, I know it's scripted anyway. It's all pre-planned. So... <laughs> These people can't ad lib like me and do it off cuff. You have to do it off a script. Pre planned rubbish. So, James Tennyson, they've done that to inject him into some sort of fight. Now, he's not going to get the Tank Davis fight, they won't take that fight, but they're doing it to put him in the mix so people think he's on that level. And, and what it's doing is, what this does is. It pisses off hardcore fans. It excites the casuals. And then it brainwashes the new fans that are coming into the sport because they think, wow, James Tennyson, his next big thing. When he in, he might be half all right, but who's he beat? And not only who's he beat, who uh, in the right mind had put him in with Tank Davis? He, he wouldn't lay a glove on Tank Davis. He'd get run over. He'd get run over, but... You know, it's 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 what it's what it's one of them things, isn't it? It's uh, it's one of them things. But Johnny Nelson, weapon of the week. How do you feel about that, son? Take a bow, take a bow. But I think you've won it before, aren't you, Johnny? I know. I think you have. You've been in helmets enough. So I know you're watching, Johnny. So let me just say this to you, Johnny. Why don't you, next time you're on air at Sky, apologise to all fans that you're misleading with your lies and your propaganda? Why don't you apologise to them? Instead of being whipping boy at Sky, who has to come out with these things, whoring yourself out, whoring yourself. That's what it is, Johnny. You are whoring yourself out for financial gain to stay in the mix at Sky because, let's have it right, Johnny. Some of the comments you come out with, Takam is like Evander Holyfield and George Foreman rolled into one and that you were worried for Joshua going into the fight because Takam had nothing to lose. The other one, Kel Brook beats Golovkin. The other one, Amir Khan beats Canelo. The other one, McGregor beats Mayweather if it goes late on in fight due to fitness. Now, these things... Are all rubbish, Johnny. Like your book. <coughs> <coughs> Somebody who was to be at Ingalls and give me Johnny's book. And I read it. It was utter rubbish. Lucky he didn't get sued. Utter rubbish, Johnny. But James Tennyson beating Tank Davis, Johnny. That is weapon behavior. So, Johnny Nelson, you are weapon of the week. All right. Weapon of the week. So what do you got to say? What do you got to say about that, Johnny? Hey, eh? 
what you got to say about that when you're doing your next interview with Coogan? Hey, don't forget to mention it that you are weapon of the week. All right, Johnny, you got a problem. Come see me. Peace out. <laughs>